NCAA college football. In today's game, number one ranked Southern California and O.J. Simpson meet their traditional rivals, the Bruins of UCLA. This ABC Sports Exclusive is brought to you by Chevrolet or your Chevrolet dealers. Sports Shop, the engine room of Chevy Sports Department. And by Pan Am, the world's most experienced airline. The airline that makes the going great. And by Muriel Cigars, the product of Consolidated Cigar Corporation, a Gulf and Western company. And by Sunoco and your nearby Sunoco dealer. When you stop at Sunoco, you go with confidence. And this is the scene of battle for the greatest of inner city rivalries. Southern California meeting UCLA, a game that has been held annually for 37 years and has been viewed by an average of spectators in the Los Angeles Memorial Coliseum of 75,600. It's a game of emotion, of color. It's a game of tradition, but tradition always has a two-way street. One street for each team. This is Traveler the Second, the mascot of the undefeated Southern California Trojan, number one in the nation. Part of the color that you'll be seeing here this afternoon as the University of Southern California goes on the road for the national championship and Bud Wilkinson, they already have the Rose Bowl bid, they have the Pacific 8 title, and they have an underdog UCLA team to play this afternoon. They still have to win the championship in the city of Los Angeles to, and uh, do it this afternoon. But Southern California is one of those offensive football teams that just keeps coming at you. There's nothing particularly uh, unusual about their offense. They have O.J. Simpson sitting in the deep position of the eye, and he just keeps turning it on and carries the ball, and when he gets that two or three steps beyond the line, he can break it. You mentioned a magic name, number 32, O.J. Simpson. Uh, how about looking at a couple of film clips of this super, super, super star? Well, I think that uh, these shots will give you an idea of the type of play that the defense has to contend with with O.J. Simpson, who is everybody's All-American. This is a ground-level shot of him, and you can see him as he picks his way through the secondary, and he's got that ability when he breaks into the open to turn on that extra afterburner of speed. Let's take a look at him again. This time it's a sweep to the left. Watch him right here. The corner man didn't even lay a glove on him. He cuts back, there's that goal line again. And of course, every time O.J. comes over the ball, the linebackers have got to be prepared for him. There he was faking over the ball, and Saugi now hits Garrett a pass for a touchdown. So that's pretty much the Southern California attack. O.J. carrying the ball, then fakes to O.J. to set up their passing. Uh, UCLA has a better balanced offense uh, from the standpoint of the purist in that they run the sweeps and the off-tackle plays, the reverse plays, the spread-out passes, and they're a team that can be very, very dangerous offensively. This is Curitan breaking down the middle, and he's a boy that has great breakaway potential. big weapon in the Bruin attack. This is Jones running the reverse and it's reminiscent of old single wing type blocking. And they too can be dangerous throwing and they will have to hit some passes of course this afternoon. This is Nader throwing out, hitting Garrett for a UCLA touchdown. Now, both of these teams can move the football and UCLA of course will have to keep possession to stay in the game. Thank you Bud Wilkinson. The pregame activities have been concluded and we'll be back for the opening kickoff here at the Coliseum in Los Angeles, California. This message is for people who still think Europe is a tough place to get around. They think the more cities you visit, the more tickets you need the more airfare it costs. If only they knew about Pan Am's Extra Cities plan. Say you're going to Paris. You can hop off at Shannon, Glasgow, London, Amsterdam, and Brussels for the price of that one city, Paris. 
And whenever you leave, wherever you go, you'll know you're flying the best there is, the world's most experienced airline. See? Getting around Europe isn't complicated. It's child's play. Jackson on the sideline here at the Coliseum just prior to kick off of the USC UCLA game. I think the story as far as UCLA is concerned for 1968 has to be injuries. This gentleman is Ducky Drake, head trainer. For 26 years, Ducky, have you ever seen a wave of injuries like you've had this year? No, we've had more this year than any year since I've been at UCLA. You have four first stringers on a watch this afternoon. Are there some other boys that are so tender, one little bump, they might have to come out? Well, we have several that might have to come out. There's Jones and Bolden and McElhaney and Reese, we've got several this afternoon that are playing just because it's their last game this year and because they're tough kids and like to play football. Ducky, it's been a tough year, but you're a great one. You'll keep them going. Good luck. I hope so. Thank you very much. Ducky Drake, the head trainer UCLA. It's a game of prayer, I think, for the Bruins to keep everybody healthy. Let's go back upstairs. Bud Wilkinson and Chris Schenkel. Thank you very much, Keith Jackson. We're ready for the kickoff now. UCLA has won the toss. They elect to receive as we look at... Uh, uh, number 43, Greg Jones. Here's the kick by Ayala. Mickey Curtin has the ball for UCLA. And the other deep back position and comes across the 20-yard line and is left at the 22. This will be highlighted by vicious play, hard tackling, I'm sure. And, of course, everyone is looking forward to another performance of O.J. Simpson. But don't count you. UCLA out of the ballgame, even though they're an underdog, a big underdog. UCLA's basic formation has been a tight wing back with a split end. And this is the basic set that they're in on their first play this afternoon as they shift. Bill Bolton is the quarterback, a junior who was injured early in the season. And the pitch out goes to their top runner, Greg Jones, number 43 of South San Francisco, California. And immediately is surrounded by the Trojan defense, led by 55, Jim Snow in the maroon jersey, and Bill Redding, number 56. And the carry is up to the 25, a gain of three. The shift that time put UCLA in an unbalanced line to the top of your screen with a slot back. Let's see if they use the same tactic here. Bob Manning, as you see, Gwen Cooper. In the backfield as we go into a nice slot formation with Bolden, at quarterback, second down and seven. From his own 25, and again, it is Greg Jones carrying for the UCLA Bruins and Bill Redding, the middle guard, number 56. The official uh, color of the SC jersey is Cardinal. They're often referred to as maroon, and as you know, they are undefeated, while UCLA has three victories and six losses with the carry up to the 30-yard line. Again, at five, it's third down and two, bud. No scoring the game, the first series of downs. UCLA, light blue. Rick Purdy and Greg Jones in the I formation. Joe Bowen gives to the deep man. Jones. Bowen to Jones. And Bill Reddy once more is in on the play. And as you see, but there was no gain. It's fourth and two. UCLA on all three of their snaps was in an unbalanced line with a slot back. This is a formation that they have not used thus far this season. They hoped that they would be able to adjust the spacing of the Southern California defense by using it, and they will continue to do it, I'm sure. Zinnon Andrusishan is the punter, averaging 42.1 yards. Number three in the nation as Mike Battle awaits the first punt of the ball game. This by UCLA. The Trojans are going to have excellent field position. It's still bouncing loosely, as you see, and it comes to rest at about the 33-yard line. Gwynn Cooper, number 41, covering it. It went 30. Eight yards. The field lights are on here at the Memorial Coliseum. We've had smog and fog. But there's one thing for certain. Our ABC cameras will be cutting through the smog. And so will, I'm sure, O.J. Simpson, who is now in the lineup. Look for him. He wears number 32. And from the 32-yard line, it's a first and ten. Dan, or rather, Humphrey Covington is in the lineup. Well, I think the yard marker knocked him down, Chris. I think something. O.J. Simpson. 
Lost about two yards on the play, so it'll be a second down and 12. The UCLA defense is a 4-4, but if the two cornermen come up on the line of scrimmage, it will look more like a 6-2. This time it is the solid 4-4 against the double slot set. Dickerson is to the near side with Chandler in the slot. This is Steve Soggy. And defense perfectly is O.J. Simpson on the very first two plays by the Trojans. Don Widmer, number 55 of Lathrop, California, was in there. And at the 31-yard line, he gained one. So it'll be third down and 11. As you see, the men up front who had a great deal to do with O.J.'s tremendous performance. On this situation, Southern California has passed three out of four times thus far this season. Soggy is the quarterback. He hits on about 45% of his passes. Bob Chandler of Whittier, California, number nine, received it, and it comes across enough yardage for the initial first down, and let's see it again in slow motion. Chandler, the flanker back, starting downfield. Single coverage against him. He puts on a good head of steam. A little fake to the inside, then the right angle turn to the outside. Up is trying to cover him, but you can see that he had him beat very easily caught the ball just as he went out of bounds this time Simpson goes in motion from the 45 first down Humphrey Covington and up front you saw number 77 trying to block that was Sid Smith Don Widmer again and on the play as the carry moves up to the 48 yard line there's a gain of three so it'll be second down and seven eight no the record for, for Southern California 38th game in this series as we look at coach Tommy Prothrow of UCLA Bruins. Dan Scott in the ball game now. Soggy to Simpson. Losing his footing and the UCLA defender was trying to do but what coach Tommy Prothrow told him to do to tackle through O.J. Simpson. Do not try to dance with him. If you try to dance with him as fast as he is at 9-3, you're unlikely to even lay a glove on him, and if you go ahead and take the shot, focusing your eyes really on his stomach rather than his head and shoulders, because you can't fake with that stomach very well, you do have a chance to get a glove on him, as happened that time. And now at the 48-yard line of UCLA, Dickerson comes to the near side. It's a third down and three. Sage tried to get Chandler. The junior flanker back on the play, or wing back, I think you could see on that play the keying of the UCLA defense against Simpson. He came in over the ball. Both linebackers closed on him. Had the pass not been overthrown, the receiver was certainly wide open. And on the very first series of downs, Coach John McKay has sent in his punter, John Young, averaging about 39 yards a punt on a fourth down and three. Single safety is Mark Gustafson for UCLA. No score in the game. It's kicked off the side of the foot, one that is out of bounds inside the 30-yard line of UCLA, one that went only 21 yards. So it's time out here at the Coliseum in Los Angeles, where the score is UCLA nothing, Southern California nothing. The minute you walked in the joint, I could see you were a man of distinction, a real big spender, good looking, so refined. I figured that you're the Muriel, the God smoking kind. So let me get right to the point. You're right in style when you're in Muriel. mild crowd. Pick one up and smoke it sometime. Back again at the Memorial Coliseum in Los Angeles, California. 85,000 fans are out here on a hazy, smoggy afternoon with the field lights on. The team 
has had the ball once. Both have been forced to punt. And now UCLA, after a 21-yard punt by Southern California, has the ball at their own 26, first and 10, with Bill Bolden at quarterback, Jones, Purdy, and Cooper. Bill Bolden from San Diego recovers the fumble. Southern California's defense is a 5-2 monster. Gary Shaw, the monster, going to the strength of the formation or to the wide field. They also will use a split six, but the basic defense is the 5-2. The shift of the Bruins is forcing them to jump the defense one man off the center so that the nose guard is really playing over the strong side guard after the shift. Now Mickey Curator at number 30 replaces Greg Jones at halfback on a second down and 12 from their own 24. UCLA with the ball, no, no score. Hold it. And but we uh, walked the field not only uh, today but yesterday, and they are slipping. That that rye grass is uh, very very thin down there. The grass looks uh, quite green, I'm sure, from your color television sets. But uh, the turf is very very loose. The first time Simpson had the ball, he slipped, and that time, of course, Bolden slipped, and he had lots of running room. And let me tell you, the air is heavy. In fact, our lighter-than-air uh, companion that goes with us on most of these games, uh, the Goodyear blimp, uh, hasn't been able to get airborne because of the fog and smog. ABC and the NCAA combined to bring you all the thrills of college football. With timeout, the score, UCLA nothing, Southern California nothing. Corvette from Chevrolet Sports Shop. The only way to catch it is on film. Corvette makes the world turn on. Z28 Camaro, the maximum hugger. Z28, the only car that can speak to the vet. Chevrolet's Sports Shop, home of the Z28 Camaro. Chevrolet's Sports Shop, home of the vet. Come on home, you'll see. Nobody else can make the world so turned on. The Sports Shop, at your Chevrolet dealer's sports department. Third down and 14 for UCLA, with about 10 minutes in the first quarter, there's no score. From their own 22, Bill Bolden, the quarterback. Almost an opening. But notice how quickly the Southern California defense closed, including uh, number 34, who was in on the play. Obima, 55, Jim Snow, the linebacker. They closed on Mickey Curran, sophomore halfback. And incidentally, Coach Tommy Prothrow has a very young team. And this team now has to punt as we have Mike Battle Deep. Andrew Shishin, born in Germany, raised in Canada, now kicking for the Bruins. It's high and long. Coming down at the 32 yard line. This is battle number 17. Gets a block or two, makes a great move. Still moves forward now, about 15 yards, as we have penalty markers on the field. Al Cowling threw a block that allowed Battle to get forward. Following a 43-yard punt, he returned to 13. So now for the second time, let's see what the penalty will be. A clipping penalty, Chris, which is going to take it back. So on a clipping penalty really is costly at this point. So it goes back to the 22-yard line. Charles Moffat setting up the ball, making it ready for play. He's the referee today. Steve Soggy, quarterback. There goes O.J. Simpson, 32 in motion. And Dan Scott, who uh, has been blocking beautifully for two years for Simpson, gets the call. And as you see, he moved across the 25 to the 27, a five-yard gain. And Don Widner made the stop for the Bruins defense. Second and five, Southern California. In
In the I formation, Southern California, second and five. Chandler, number nine, is to the far side. Sam Dickerson, 18, is split to the near side. Beautiful defensive work. The keying thus far has been excellent by UCLA. It appears that the two inside men are going with the fullback, and the two corner men are reading the fullback and the tailback and going with them and shooting if they do not divide. Well, uh, O.J. has had three carries, minus one yard, but he has set a new NCAA season record with his three rushes today of 297, and that is some performance in a single season. Wait till we tell you the yards as Dickerson. The pass was overthrown. It was a third down, third and five play, so that brings up a fourth down as Dennis Sperling covered for the UCLA secondary. Well, but neither team has been able to uh, put together a drive. Early here, we have about eight and a half minutes remaining in the first quarter. Huge crowd. John Young will punt. Mark Gustafson is deep at the left of your screen in the UCLA blue. It's a light blue, white numeral. There's a kick by Young, end over end. That's Gustafson. It took a Southern California bounce and is dead. 51 yard punt thanks to the right type of bounce and UCLA will get the ball first and 10 and as you see a final score 29 29 all in the traditional Harvard Yale game which has a lot of seasoning but a game like this is which of course is traditional doesn't have quite the seasoning but it has the flavor and now UCLA the underdog getting the ball for the second time first and 10 at its own 21. Cooper, Bolden, and Purdy and Jones in the backfield. That is Cooper in a slot to the far side. And up the middle goes the fullback, Purdy. Rick Patula, number 69, the right guard, blocks superbly on the play. And UCLA is staying with the shift to the unbalanced line slot formation. And as they make the shift, you can see the Southern California defense having to adjust with them. Nine-yard gain at second down and one as Bolden... Call signal, UCLA looks for its first, first down. Garrett to the near side. Here is Bolden. Rick Purdy, the UCLA fullback, threw that block that you saw on the far side of the field. And it's a first and 10 as Purdy throws one and Jones blocks. Let's watch it again in slow motion. You can see the Southern California man coming in and the beautiful block. And this is Jones, and that's the way you're supposed to cut him down. Perfect form, perfect result. And it's Cooper in the slot to the near side. First and ten. From about the 45-yard line, as you saw, and the Southern California defense was right there, led by Jensen, number 51, Bob Jensen of Anaheim, California, a six-footer who has a great pursuit. I believe as the game goes along, UCLA, instead of shifting, will snap the ball and go to the short side. It's a very short corner. So it's second down and 10 after no game. From the 45 of UCLA, no scores. Ron Copeland is split to the near side. Watch Bolden. Down the middle of Purdy. Good move by the fullback. And he needed just one more little step as Jerry Shaw closed on him fast. But for the first time now, UCLA is in Trojan territory and let's call it the 41 and UCLA leads in first downs two to one. Two detached men and a wing back spreading the Southern California defense. Purdy the fullback looping into the open spot as the linebackers drop back. He set back. Manning is in the lineup number 39. Jim Snow closed on Manning. Number 39, you see him getting up. Tommy Prothro, who has had quite a record at UCLA. He is a Duke graduate, class of 42. He has coached two Heisman Trophy winners, Terry Baker and last year's winner, Gary Beban. And he hopes today, of course, that his Bruin team can continue to do what they have done on this drive. Get the ball and keep it and keep the clock running and don't let O.J. have it. Second down to nine. Little less than nine from the 40 of SC. Bill Bolden in the air. Good catch by Mike Garrett, the junior end, number 87. And they're inside the 30 of the Trojans and moving. 
Garrett has been an effective passer all year, but he's had the misfortune to throw more than the usual percentage of interceptions. Again, Coco and the Bruin staff hope that he will not throw the ball when the receivers are tightly covered. That time, Garrett was well covered, but he drilled it in. We have a new defensive end for SC. Joe Obima, number 34, replaces Grissom as UCLA is at the 28 of Southern California first down. Bill Bolden. Bob Jensen forcing number 18, Bolden out of bounds. And Bolden reached the 21 for a seven yard gain, which makes it a second and three for the Bruins as Grissom now is back in. Out of the ball game goes number 39, Bob Manning, replaced by Rick Purdy in the offensive team for UCLA. Manning made a great block in that last play. There is Bolden. Injured, missed three games. Placed by Nader, but starting today, Garrett to the far side. With Greg Jones on a second down and three from the 21. Tony Terry, you uh, also see 56 in on the play. Bill Ray for the Southern California defense. Both coaches substituting freely both offensive and defensive units. And the men coming in, of course, uh, calling the defensive alignment as well as the offensive play. How technical the game has become, Bud. This is the 100th season. Third down and two now from the 20 of Southern California. UCLA's Greg Jones trying for the first down. Did he get it as Mike Garrett helped to block? You saw the yardage that he needed. Now let's see where his forward progress and the placement of the ball. The shift to the unbalanced line uh, obviously is making it a little difficult for the Trojans to be perfectly sure that they are lined up in the perfect alignment. I'm sure as the game goes along, the adjustment will become easier for them. It's something that they haven't looked at previously. UCLA, the fourth first down. Southern California has only won. There is no score. And we have four minutes and 20 seconds remaining in the first quarter. Undefeated Southern California. Going into this game and going into the afternoon of football, there were only six untied and undefeated teams in the nation. SC is one. They are number one. Bolden now sets up with a first and ten. The ball at about the 17. Rick Purdy, number 33. Bill Redding, Costa Mesa, California, and Tony Terry of Long Beach, California. And on the stop, and as you see, it's inside the 15. Let's call it, uh, nevertheless, the 15-yard line, where it'll now be a second down and eight. 30, number 33. That was that short corner. Had Bolden kept the ball that time, it looked as though he could have made it to the outside very, very easily. Mike Garrett is split just a bit. In the slot goes Gwen Cooper, number 41. Bill Bolden gets a necktie greeting from uh, number 83 and number 15, John Young, the sophomore from La Mesa, California. Wow. Gain of a yard, third and seven. Jim Gunn was number 83. Incidentally, he was uh, very important in Southern California's victory a year ago, 21 to 20. Cooper now. Comes to the near side as a flanker back. Ron Copeland is the split left end. Third and seven. Knocked down by number 74, Tony Terry, a liberal arts major of Southern California. Little good size thing. also. And it's a good thing he knocked it down because the receiver was open on the curl pattern. And Bud, you, Bud was talking about Ron Copeland, the senior end, six feet four inches tall. And now it is a fourth down and seven. And uh, Zenon Anders Shishik, who has kicked only one of ten this year, but all but one of those was beyond 45 yards, will now try one, 32. From the 22 plus the 10 of the end zone, it is up and good, and UCLA goes into the lead. Time out here at the Coliseum in Los Angeles, California. A huge crowd 
sees on the scoreboard that UCLA has taken a three to nothing lead. Welcome to the Sunoco Trophy Room. We call Sunny Dollars Plus the big game because on the average, some big game hunter has won a prize every minute of every hour of every day since Sunny Dollars Plus began. And here's the biggest trophy of all, a wild new Camaro by Chevrolet. Each of these lucky big game hunters bagged one. Of course, you really win a real live 1969 Camaro. Isn't it a beauty? And look at all these $2,000 winners. Oodles more, too. Just think, every minute since Sunny Dollars Plus began, somebody's won a Camaro. Or cash prizes of $1 to $5, $10 or $100, or $2,000. Isn't it time you went big game hunting at a participating Sunoco station? Who knows, with a winner a minute, you could bag a Camaro, too. Mm -mm. Void were prohibited. <laughs> Who knows, with a winner a minute, you could bag a Camaro, too. Mm -mm. Void were prohibited. <laughs> Two mighty Trojans are deep now, awaiting the kick following a 32-yard field goal by Zeman Andersishan of UCLA. As you see, they lead. O.J. Simpson is about to attempt to return his fourth kick up of the kickoff of the year. Three before. Chandler is back there, too, and they try to get the Chandler, but Simpson takes it in the end zone. Comes out to the 5 to 10. 15. 20. Carries several people four more yards to the 24. And Southern California will get the ball for the third time as they trail with approximately two minutes and 50 seconds remaining in the first quarter, bud. And uh, Tommy Prothrow's strategy thus far has been successful. UCLA has had the ball for nine minutes and 20 seconds of this first quarter. Southern California has had the ball only two minutes and 50 seconds. There is Coach John McKay, graduate of the University of Oregon. In 1950, two national champions, including the championship last year. Today, they're going for another. Simpson. O.J., maybe the finest runner of them all. He has that speed, size, toughness, and elusiveness, and boy, does he combine them. 200 and over 94 carries coming into this game, and look at him, bud. Beautiful moves, you can see confidence. How, how well he watches the blocking ahead of him and how he's got that little extra step as he sees it open up in front of him. And then how he battles for every extra yard. And back live, O.J. carries the ball again. Last week, he carried it 47 times. In the two years here, he has never carried it less than 17 in any of the games he has played. So you'd have to say he is durable. Thus far, he's carried it five times. He has gained six yards. Don Widmer and Hal Griffin are in to stop him now as we have a third down and two play at the 31. Steve Sagi and hit from behind. What a super defensive play. There you see the man, number 90, Lee McElroy of Beaumont, Texas, 6'3", 213 pounds. He's a proud fella. And that's what we call the blind side. Well, it appears that the fog now coming off the Pacific Ocean is rolling in at the Los Angeles Memorial Coliseum, a fog that has closed down the airports here. This coupled with smog, the field lights have been on since about 2.45 West Coast time. Coach Tommy Prothrow. One of the officials uh, dropped his flag and Coach Tommy Prothrow is a little bit upset about it obviously and we're getting an illegal procedure penalty which will give a first down to Southern California. They had a uh, fourth down and two coming up and it keeps the offensive team of the number one team in the nation Southern California on the field. Number 18 goes to the far side Sam Dickerson. The ball now is at the 36. Chandler is in the slot. UCLA leads three to nothing as Simpson carries. O.J. Simpson in a two-year total after transferring from the City College of San Francisco, 2,992 yards. 
Last year in this traditional rivalry meeting, two touchdowns, 177 yards. Thus far this year, 18 touchdowns. And don't forget, he ran the leg of Southern California's world record 440-yard relay two springs ago. A 9-300 man is Steve Sagi now. Call signals. Ball is made ready for play at the 49 following that 13-yard gain by O.J. Markers down. <laughs> but he can vary he that can speed. Really turn it on, yes. Let's see what the penalty marker will be. One of the changes in the Southern California offense this year has been the use of Simpson wide much more often than a year ago. He was straight ahead most of the time a year ago, but he's running wide a great deal this year. And I think it's interesting that he's gone wide twice and made 19 yards. He's gone inside four times and is minus one inside. But when he can hit the entire front, as he's doing this year, of course, it keeps the defense alert for every possibility. Well, this time the illegal procedure is against Southern California, which gives them a first down and 15 at their own 44, move back five yards. As we had a minute and a half remaining in the first quarter, UCLA leads three to nothing. Dickerson is split to the near side with Chandler in the slot. <laughs> Trying hard for the interception was Doug Hupp, number 28 of the Bruins, on a pass intended for Sam Dickerson. Asagi now has tried six times to complete, but has only come up with two. So it'll be a second down and 15 for Southern California, which in four games was tied with opponents at the end of three quarters. They have always started slow, but oh, haven't helped the opponents in the fourth quarter. I believe that uh, Soggy is a little bit uh, wondering about the rush. He was hit so hard on the previous pass, the last one he threw a little bit before he was ready. You know, UCLA and USC accounted for five of the record six national championships won by the Pacific 8 Conference last year. UCLA captured its second straight NCAA basketball crown. USC won national titles in football, track, tennis, and baseball. The sixth NCAA championship went to the University of California in gymnastics. These are two tremendous institutions here on the West Coast. And this rivalry has been going on now for the 38th year. Going into today's game, Southern California had won 20 of the games, UCLA 12. There had been five ties. As we look, Steve Soggy comes back into the Southern California huddle, and you get a good look at the field lights and the huge cheering section of UCLA on the far side, just behind the bench, where the blue of the Bruins is shining brightly right now because they are in the lead three to nothing with about a minute and a half to go in the first quarter. It's a second down and 15 at the 44 of Southern California. Soggy, high formation. You saw Sagi trying to find open receivers, and as he did, bumped into the man who was trying to protect him. Bob Miller was busting in there for UCLA Bruins, and Mike Ballou, number 57. The two inside uh, defensive tackles, Agajanian and Geddes, for UCLA, are looping on almost every play, and as they loop, the linebackers are coordinating their stunts with them. They're getting a magnificent rush on Sagi. Okay, bud, now let's see what the number one team in the nation will do on a third down and 21 from its own 38. 50 seconds left in the first quarter. I was going to say, Chris, I'd throw it to O.J. <laughs> O.J. Simpson. Rental James Simpson. And let's see it again. He just drifts out of the backfield here, not wanting to have anyone pick him up too quickly just sort of floating perfect throw to him the corner man is trying to catch him but uh, he doesn't have the speed and what Simpson sort of read his blocks and he did pick up some fine blocks down the sidelines he cuts back and comes within two yards of the first down 19 yards of the 21 they need two they get it Chandler soggy hitting Chandler on the play number nine and Gustafson on the tackle for UCLA I believe that's one of the reasons that they're a great team, Chris. You have fourth and two. You expect them to go with some kind of an inside run, but they had the coolness to fake it and throw the pass for the first down. 
The referee today, Charles Moffat. The umpire, Jim Leinberger. Headlinesman, William J. Settle. The field judge, Frank Fiddler. Everett Bannister, the back judge. Good slow motion of the last play. Chandler is the flankered back. We'll try to pick it up later for you as the quarter ends. At the end of the first quarter here in Los Angeles, the score is UCLA 3, Southern California nothing. First quarter statistics as we start the second with UCLA leading after a 32-yard field goal, 3 to nothing. SC with the ball at the UCLA 36. Simpson almost gave you a little fake as though he might throw the ball, which he has done in the past. The statistic that uh, doesn't show with the normal rundown is time of possession. And in the first quarter, UCLA had the ball 9 minutes and 20 seconds, Southern California 5 minutes and 40. Defensively for UCLA, Bob Geddes, number 93, a sophomore from Riverside, California, has been playing heads-up football. UCLA used, loses only one player off this defensive unit for uh, next season. On a second and eight, Sagi. Chandler at about the 22-yard line. First down, 16-yard play as Doug Huff knocks him down and out of bounds. Slow motion. You can see Chandler at his detached flanker back position. Starting downfield. Covered. Little inside juke and then the outside break. And he's got that good lead on the defensive back. He tries to turn up field. But at that point, he's picked up by Huff and stop, but it's first down, Southern California. And Bob Miller is in at left end now. Whoops. And as you can see, they are not kidding today. <laughs> A little argument. What'd you do that for, he says. The UCLA team reacted as the Southern California man made the first step. And he thought that second reaction was a little bit slower than it should be. Well, we have another procedure uh, uh, penalty. This one against uh, Southern California, so it brings the ball back. First down and 15 at the 27-yard line as Chandler's to the far side with O.J. in motion. And Scott Perry, Dan Scott. O.J. Simpson went in motion. The corner man, Davidson, moved out with him. That left that open spot, and Scott found it. Excellent call on the part of Sutton. Number 38. His uh, usual role is blocking for O.J., proving that he can carry the ball, too. As Chandler now goes to the far side, number nine, it's going to be a second down and five following a 10-yard gain. Two sure tackles by UCLA. 55, Don Widmer. That's off to him again. He's been in on many plays. As you see, Southern California has won eight and lost none and it's a pretty rugged schedule that they have played and speaking of rugged next week bud we'll be televising from here our wild card game we're happy to announce today will feature southern california and notre dame oj well they closed the gate on him that time third and three play it'll be fourth and three dick davidson let's watch it here it's a cross buck Scott going to the bottom of the screen and watch O.J. get hit here. It looks like the entire Bruin team is right with him. The cornerback and the linebacker were the men making the hard hits. Eight carries for Simpson. 19 yards. It's fourth down and about a yard. He did go forward two yards on the play. More than that on the next one. Didn't look like there was much daylight, but what there was, he found. First and goal to go, Coach Tommy Prothro, a native of Memphis, Tennessee. He's the UCLA coach. Now in first down, Southern California has six, UCLA four, but UCLA leads three to nothing. We have now a 12 and a half minutes remaining in the first half. is the quarterback, number six. Chandler, split. O.J. gets to the three, where it'll be second and goal for the Trojans. 
93 was there, Bob Geddes, along with number 72, Larry Agajanian, son of Ben Agajanian, and Bob Bartlett from Gardena, California. UCLA has gone to their goal line defense, which is a 6-5. Chandler is a flanker back to the near side. You see Scott, 38, Simpson, 32, behind Sagi. OJ. His 19th touchdown of the year is 114th point of the year, leading candidate for the Heisman Trophy. With the simple sweep, Scott leads him out. Here comes the ball from Soggy. He cuts inside as the end is knocked out. He saw that daylight, turned it on into the end zone. Touchdown, Southern California. 74 yards and 18 plays, ball control. Ayala will try for the point after with Steve Saki holding. Saki, a good job at getting a high snap down low, so the kick could be made. Dick Allman on the snap. College football observing its 100th year with timeout. The score is USC 7, UCLA 3. We have the feeling somebody's always following us. Take the homeowner's policy. We invented it at INA, Insurance Company of North America. Sure enough, the competition was right behind us. We appointed the first agent. And the others followed us. Take auto insurance. INA pioneered safety driver merit savings in the 20s. We could see our competitors in our rearview mirror. We created the policy covering the first atomic sub. We were one of the first insurance companies to use computers. Today, we operate one of the most advanced computer systems in insurance for better service and savings to policyholders. When you're the leader, you get used to feeling that somebody's behind you. When insurance comes from imagination, it comes to you from INA and your INA agent. Well, in intercollegiate football, we always meet a lot of interesting young men. Ron Ayala, who kicked the point after to put SC further into the lead over UCLA, 7-3. to three. Well, Ron's dad has 23 brothers and sisters. He has 15 uncles here watching the game today. And there's the kick. Mickey Curitan, fine runner for S UCLA, brings it back across the 20-yard line and is dropped at the 23. Mickey Curitan. You'll hear more from him today because he is uh, one of the coming stars for this young UCLA team. Had a very, very fine tackle that time by Lee. All right, with the ball at the 23 now. Bill Bowling. Remains at quarterback. First down, seven to three. Now into a tight slot, two setbacks. And carrying the ball is Greg Jones, number 43. Who going into this game had scored uh, four touchdowns. Jim Snow stops him at the 29-yard line and following a gain of six. Second down and four. What an afternoon for football. We hope you are enjoying this game from the Coliseum in Los Angeles as the smog comes a little bit lower. Fog starts rolling in a little bit more, as you perhaps can see on your screens at home. UCLA, second and four. Golden. A loose ball! Bolden, after a fine run, lost the ball. SC recovers at the UCLA 41. He made a great move. It was the pass called. The receivers recovered. He turned the corner, picked up the first down, but was really sandwiched and fumbled the ball. Recovery by Durko. We were just looking at uh, number 55, Snow. He did a lot of hard hitting as Durko flopped on the ball now 
It is Southern California from the 42 of UCLA. The ball is made ready for play by the referee, Charles Moffat. SC leads 7-3. to three. We have 11 minutes remaining in the first half. This is Sagi going long. Chandler is there. Chandler had a beat, but the pass was slightly underthrown. I think her expression really tells the story on the part of UCLA as Gustafson defends. The point after with Steve Sagi holding. Sagi, a good job at getting a high snap down low, so the kick could be made. Dick Allman on the snap. College football, observing its 100th year with timeout. We have the feeling somebody's always following us. Take the homeowner's policy. We invented it at INA, Insurance Company of North America. Sure enough, the competition was right behind us. We appointed the first agent, and the others followed us. Take auto insurance. INA pioneered safe driver merit savings in the 20s. We could see our competitors in our rearview mirror. We created the policy covering the first atomic sub. We were one of the first insurance companies to use computers. Today, we operate one of the most advanced computer systems in insurance for better service and savings to policyholders. When you're the leader, you get used to feeling that somebody's behind you. When insurance comes from imagination, it comes to you from INA and your INA agent. Well, in intercollegiate football, we always meet a lot of interesting young men. Ron Ayala, who kicked the point after to put SC further into the lead over UCLA, 7-3. Well, Ron's dad has 23 brothers and sisters. He has 15 uncles here watching the game today. And there's the kick. Mickey Curitan, fine runner for S UCLA, brings it back across the 20-yard line. Is dropped at the 23. Mickey Curitan. You'll hear more from him today because he is uh, one of the coming stars for this young UCLA team. Had a very, very fine tackle that time by Lee. All right, with the ball at the 23 now. Bill Bolin remains the quarterback. First down. Seven to three. Now into a tight slot. Two setbacks. And carrying the ball is Greg Jones, number 43. Who going into this game had scored uh, four touchdowns. Jim Snow stops it at the 29-yard line and following a gain of six. Second down and four. But an afternoon for football. We hope you are enjoying this game from the Coliseum in Los Angeles as the smog comes a little bit lower. Fog starts rolling in a little bit more as you perhaps can see on your screens at home. UCLA, second and fourth. Golden. A loose ball! Bolden, after a fine run, lost the ball. SC recovers at the UCLA 41. He made a great move. It was the pass called. The receivers recovered. He turned the corner, picked up the first down, but was really sandwiched and fumbled the ball. Recovery by Durko. We were just looking at uh, number 55, Snow. He did a lot of hard hitting as Durko flopped on the ball now. It is Southern California from the 42 of UCLA. The ball is made ready for play by the referee, Charles Moffat. SC leads 7-3. to three. We have 11 minutes remaining in the first half. This is Sagi going long. Chandler is there. 
Chandler had it beat. The pass was slightly underthrown. I think her expression really tells this story on the part of UCLA as Gustafson defended. Chandler starting down the field. You can see him make the move. And he defeated Gustafson way, way past him. But Gustafson, as the pass is underthrown, goes up for it. And both men fight for it. Neither one, of course, making the catch. We had a face guard penalty called, and it's 15 yards against Southern California, making it first down and 25. Third penalty now against Southern California as they lead 7-3, to three, and it moves them back to their own 44-yard line. That is Dan Scott. Again, and on the play for the UCLA defense, along with uh, number 90, who is Lee McElroy, and Bartlett, number 80. We'll be flashing final scores from the top games around the country from time to time on your screen, so look them over. Dickerson now for Southern California is to the near side of the field on a second down and 21. Soggy back to the 41. So oh, it will be third down and 27. Great defensive effort that time by Grant, the defensive end. He really made the move, second effort, got too soggy before he could get rid of the ball. Looking at the Southern California offensive team as number 39 comes into the ball game, Covington replacing Dan Scott. Southern California, 18 rushes, 38 net yards. Third and 27 from the 41. Okay. 64 is Wes Grant, the junior defensive end. That is Bill Bolden, the quarterback for UCLA, who was shaken up. As, of course, you recall, he fumbled after being hit hard and now being administered to by medical staff, training staff of the Bruins. And it's fourth down for Southern California. Mickey Curtin is deep. Johnny Young is punting. And at the five, this is Curtin moving outside to the 20. What a move. 30. 35, 40. Look at this. I believe that's all she wrote. Chandler, number nine, saved a touchdown as Bob Geddes threw a block back here at about the 25-yard line that was sensational. 67 yards. Wow. Let's watch it again in slow motion. The ball was low. A little bit of a hesitation. He gets by the important man, a great block. And then he turns on the speed and watch him as he reverses the field here. And it appeared at this point that Curitan had it all the way, but Chandler knocked him out of bounds. First and 10 from the 17 for UCLA. They trail 7 to 3. We're in the second quarter. Look out. That was Rick Purdy. Nearly lost the ball. Nader had come in at quarterback. Uh, obviously, the timing was just a little bit off. It is difficult sometimes to adjust the timing with a new quarterback in the game. It'll take a play or two. They gained a yard on the play, so it's second down and nine as Grissom and Cowling for Southern California made the stop. Jim Nader, sophomore, number 15, native Californian, calling signals. Bolden being injured. Greg Jones, who coming into this game, was the leading rusher, nearly 500 yards, and Bob Jensen stops number 43. Jensen having a most unusual high school statistic. He once made 27 tackles in a single game. That's the kind you like to recruit, right, bud? Yes, sir. <laughs> At third and six, this is a key play for UCLA. Ball inside the 15, UCLA. Yeah. 
It's complete to the fullback, Rick Purdy, first and goal to go. UCLA, Jim Snow on the tackle. A little bit low, but Purdy made a great catch as he turned, caught the ball just before he hit the ground. Baseball scouts might be uh, looking toward him after that fielding play. Wow. At the four-yard line, UCLA now. Knocking on the door, first down, as we have seven minutes, ten seconds remaining in the first half. Greg Jones. And look at the gang tackling on the part of those maroon or cardinal jerseys, Southern California. Have to credit the whole team as we look at sophomore Jim Nader. Going into this game, as you see, when Bolden was injured and missed three games, he took over, throwing seven touchdown passes, bud. He's been a fine player. That time it appeared that Jones could turn the corner, but the play was called inside. He thought he saw daylight. Instead of seeing daylight, he found trouble. Mike Battle was shaken up, and he is a uh, fine defender for Southern California. There you look at him, number 17. Now with the second goal from the three, UCLA. They trail 7-3. A yard closer, Rick Purdy. Mickey Curitan set this uh, deep drive up with a 67-yard return of a John Young punt. And we hope you didn't miss it. Showed it to you twice. Ball is right near the two, where it's going to be third down and goal. They got their first down at the four, so they have to go in. Now with seven minutes left in the first half. Landrick ready to center the ball to Nader. Greg Jones is right near that yellow stripe. Believe me, we've got the big pound coming up now. Mm. 43 is Greg Jones. 71 is Willard Scott. Gary Shaw is number 46. And 55 is Jim Snow. Less than a yard away from a touchdown and the lead against the nation's number one team, Southern California. Fourth down and goal to go now. Jim Nader at uh, quarterback, placing Bill Bolden, who was shaken up on a previous uh, series of downs as he was hit hard and fumbled with Southern California taking over and then forced to punt. Referee's timeout, the uh, crowd noise being such, Nader did not feel his offensive team could hear him call a snap count. If you can't hear the snap count, you cannot get off together. Mike Battle has made a quick recovery from his injury and is back in the lineup. Number 17 for Southern California. Fourth and goal. In there. Mickey Stewart, who sent this drive up with a punt return. And an exciting runner. Built and runs along the same lines of former USC star Mike Garrett. Watch him. Nader pitches the ball back to Curitan. You can see the beautiful blocking. And Curitan turned the corner upfield into the end zone. He's quick. 17 yards in six plays following that 67-yard punt return. And UCLA now is in the lead 9-7. And Zinnan Andrushin will try to up the count. Greg McLandrick is centering uh, the ball with Greg Jones holding. It's up and good. Five minutes remaining in the first half. And we'll see. See it again. Here's the touchdown run. You can see Curitan really recognizing that final stripe, lowered the boom, and took it in with three yards to spare. College football. What better way to spend an autumn afternoon? Oh, I agree. Timeout. The score is UCLA 10, Southern California 7. And now we return to our studios for this message. Sixty-second excitement. It's everywhere. Do you have your Polaroid color pack camera? You can't take the country out of Salem. You can take Salem out of the country, but... 
You can't take the country out of Salem. Let Salem take your taste to the country. You can take Salem out of the country, but... O.J. Simpson and Bob Chandler are deep, awaiting Andrew Shishin's kick. UCLA is in the lead, 10 to 7. O.J. at the 5-10, changing speeds, and gets to about the 22-yard line. And how both teams are fighting hard in this inner-city rivalry. And there's so much spirit in not only this game, but in intercollegiate football, and we see it, bud as we travel uh, from game to game throughout the exclusive NCAA season that we have at ABC. When you're a college football player, you only have 10 games, and you make the most of every one of them. SC from the 22, they trail 10 to 7. Sagi, look at that move. OJ, two of the prettiest moves we've ever seen. Let's watch this again in slow motion. This is why he's the... Great running back at college football. Beautiful block there. And that's all it takes. He just absolutely ran right past Gustafson, who didn't ever lay a glove on him. And Huff now has him absolutely cornered. O.J. tried to stiff arm him, but Huff rode him out of bounds, and that proves again that that sideline's the best tackler on the field. 30 yards. He's already carried the ball 13 times. As we have four and a half minutes remaining in the first half, he's in motion. Simpson in the 48 of UCLA. Got the fullback. Let's pause five seconds to allow our local stations to identify themselves. This is Bill Bolden, the UCLA quarterback who was injured when he fumbled, weeping moments ago as his mother came out of the stands to console him. There isn't too much consolation when O.J. gets the ball. That's just disappointment on Bolden's part, Chris, about not being able to finish this game. He worked all year, and this is a big one, and then you have the bad luck to have an injury that makes it impossible for you to continue. Simpson, 14 carries, 76 yards. Soggy, number six. You see, uh, number 38 is Dan Scott. Now look at Soggy, who is only 5'10 and weighs 170 pounds. He's got some big linemen in front of him. Number 73, Jack O'Malley, who's 6'4, 260. Sid Smith is 6'4, 260. Simpson has scored the only SC touchdown. UCLA leads by a score of 10 to 7 with four minutes remaining in the first half as. Scott goes. The two inside men, Agajani and Geddes, looped to the wide field and decided that Simpson had gone in motion. The handoff went to the opposite side. Lots of daylight for Scott. Eight-yard gain, so it'll be second down and two. Southern California's Dennis Sperling made the tackle. That's uh, Dick Allman over the ball for Southern California center. Sagi. Oh, I could hear it up here. Yes, we could, and uh, we are very, very far away. Probably the most distant uh, spot from where we've ever televised. At the Coliseum, which is huge, as you know, scene of the 1932 Olympic Games, and of course scene of this inner city rivalry for uh, 38 times today. We're up in that area uh, beneath the field lights, and you can see how far it is with the track surrounding it. A procedure penalty, which brings the ball back to the 35. They replay the down and make it second down and seven. A penalty against SC as they trail 10-7. We have three minutes and 20 seconds remaining in the first half. Bob Chandler is flanked to the near side. That's O.J. in motion. And Scott the fullback on the carry. 27 is Dennis Sperling. 82 also in on the play. That's Dick Davidson from Woodland Hills, California. Fog moving in from the beautiful Pacific. And those that have to fly don't think the Pacific and the fog is quite so beautiful. 
McConnell, six carries for 30, 30 yards this far. From the 34, it's a third down and about six. Dickerson split to the near side. Soggy looks. Receivers covered, finds one. It is Dickerson. He drilled it in there. Sperling covered on the play, number 27 in blue. So it is a first down for SC. The Stanford today shut out California 20 to nothing. We have two and a half minutes remaining in the first half here at the Coliseum. UCLA 10, SC 7. Dickerson is out of the ball game, replaced by Bob Miller, number 86. From the 24-yard line, Mr. Simpson took off. Let's watch it again in slow motion. Scott, the fullback, leading Simpson. Fine offensive blocking by the line. You can see them driving those men back. Simpson finally being stopped as the secondary closes on him, but it's first down for Southern California. And you may have seen number 38 early on that run back or playback. That was Dan Scott blocking for Simpson. Time out here at the Coliseum in Los Angeles, California. The score with about two minutes to go in the first half. UCLA 10, SC 7. Anticipation. That's the secret. Keep anticipating your opponent's next move and you'll win every time. In any game. Uh, take your situation right now, for example. Your wife is probably not overjoyed at the way you spend your afternoon, right? She's probably thinking, if he's going to watch football all afternoon, instead of taking me to Mother's, he's going to get cold stew for supper. You like cold stew? So anticipate. The next time she walks by, you say, forget about supper, honey. As soon as the game's over, I'm going out for Kentucky Fried Chicken. From a bum to a hero, just like that. And instead of getting cold stew, you get delicious Kentucky Fried Chicken. And it's finger-licking good. And next week, she'll probably say, enjoy the game, honey, while I'm at Mother's. And on the way home, I'll pick up the Kentucky Fried Chicken. Right, Crazy Legs? Who you call them Crazy Legs? Keep a happy home during football season. Colonel Sanders is anticipating your arrival at your nearby Kentucky Fried Chicken takeover. Coming into the ballgame, O.J. Simpson averaged nearly five yards per carry. He is 5.8 to this point, 15 carries, 87 yards, and one TD. Number 32 from the 14, there he goes. For more yardage. Chandler has hit the passes on the times they've been needed since the start of the ballgame. He was only two for six, but he's hit the last four throws in succession, and they've all been critical downs. And now the ball is inside the eight. It is a second down. And four. And at 45 seconds remaining in the first half, Chandler, number nine, is to the far side. Scott and Simpson behind Soggy. Just falling the right way, gained uh, nearly two yards. Bob Bartlett, number 80, at his shoe tops. As Simpson now is inside the five, he is at the four. Remarkably durable, Chris, carrying the ball as many times a game as he does. And never complains about the many bruises that he sustains. In fact, he had a slight case of the flu this week. As Sagi called signals on a third and about one. And now, O.J. Simpson has 20 touchdowns on the year with one more game to play. That's next Saturday against Notre Dame, which we'll be televising following the Army-Navy Classic. 100 yards on the ground with 18 carries. Watch this one because this is what makes him the great runner that he is. Fine block by the fullback Scott, but you can see him. He doesn't really need much daylight. He simply slides through the hole and then puts on that first of speed. The secondary closed, but it was too late. There he is coming back to the bench. 78-yard drive as Ayala will try for the point after up and good. With about a minute to go in the first half, Southern California has regained the lead 14 to 10. You know, you'll be able to see a lot more than the outstanding teams of Southern California and Notre Dame on ABC's wild card game next Saturday. You'll be seeing for the first time ever all 14 finalists in the NCAA Chevrolet Centennial Queen Contest. You get a chance to vote for the queen of your choice through ABC or through an ad in Life magazine. So be sure to see all the girls. 
The 14 finalists, each of whom have already won a sectional title, represent the 11 major conferences, the major independents, and the college division. After the national balloting, the college football centennial queen will be announced and crowned in San Francisco December 28th at the East-West Shrine game, which will also be seen on ABC. The queen will then reign during all of 1969, the centennial year of intercollegiate football. Incidentally, Bud, you are not eligible to vote. I'm eligible to be at the East-West game. <laughs> all right. Spectators, and now Greg Jones is deep, along with Mickey Curitan, two speedsters, as Ron Ayala kicks off following an SC touchdown. It was short coming down at the 25-yard line as we look at UCLA coach Tommy Prothrow. Bob Manning covered for UCLA. And play now will start from the UCLA 25 where the Bruins have a first and 10. Andrew the quarterback. Number 15 trying to uh, snare that pass out of the air was John Young, the kicker. Pass intended for Ron Copeland, thrown by Nader. Marker is down at the line of scrimmage. It appears to be against UCLA. Jim Snow is listening to the options as explained by Charles Moffat here at the Coliseum in Los Angeles. Offside, decline. With less than a minute to play, had they taken the penalty, they would have been giving UCLA another down, and they did not want to risk that, of course. They'd like to get the ball themselves one more time. The Bruins take timeout. 55 seconds remaining in the first half. Both bands will be performing at halftime and uh, chatting and bringing an uh, interesting interview. Uh, on the sideline will be our colleague Keith Jackson, who will also uh, be joining us on Thanksgiving Day as ABC will bring you exclusive color coverage of the Texas, Texas a and and m game on next Thursday afternoon. And then on Saturday, Bill Fleming will be uh, in Philadelphia to cover the Army-Navy game, and Bud Wilkinson and I will be back here at the Coliseum to bring you our wild card selection, which features SC hosting Notre Dame. That is the sun through the fog. The Trojans have done a much better job of ball possession in this the second quarter. They've had the ball 14 minutes, 55 seconds, UCLA 14-10, with about 50 seconds remaining in this half. Sophomore Jim Nader is the quarterback, second and 10 from his own 25. Greg Jones, San Francisco junior, carrying on the play for a yard or two. Tony Terry on the tackle. Matter of fact, we mentioned the UCLA and SC bands a moment ago, and they are interested spectators on uh, both sidelines and uh, poised for a nifty show. We think you'll enjoy it. And now it's a third down and nine from the 26. Mickey Curitan is in the backfield. He wears number 30. There he is. Well, he was able to put on the brakes, but Jim Grissom of Downey, California, stopped him, along with Mike Haljuchak. Five seconds remaining in the first half. Time running out, and there is the gun. A great halftime of music and marching coming up. The score here at the Coliseum in Los Angeles, California, as USC has come from behind to take the lead over UCLA, 14 if you think Chevrolet's new two-way tailgate is the same as those on other cars, that's just what the other cars hope you'll think. But while lots of other tailgates open down and out, we did some special things with ours we think you'll like. We hid the hinges so you can't snag your clothes. We took the handles off the back and put them inside so that no one outside can get at the interior without permission. Then we carved a step into the bumper so that it's easy to enter the wagon. And we slanted the roof so you can get in without bumping your head. The hidden hinge, the hidden handles, the bumper step, and the slanted roof. All of them come together, attached to the 1969 Chevrolet wagons, the walk-in wagons. It's all part of a plot to keep you liking Chevrolet best. Putting you first keeps us first. 
Charlton Heston and Ava Gardner star in the Sunday night movie on ABC. The nation's top-ranked team, Southern California, has had its hands full against underdog UCLA in the first half. They have the lead 14 to 10 at halftime. And let's see which of the bands will come out on top. And down at the sideline to enjoy it all with you is our colleague, Keith Jackson. Thank you very much, Chris. Catch your breath after that exciting first half of play. Marching onto the field, the University of Southern California band. Ronald Broadwell is the director. The drum major is Joe Winchell. The Trojan man further, Warren Bass. well-known USC athletic and spirit happening featuring today at halftime for USC as the band moves into a tribute to Troy and then off into the, what they call the Magnese Drill, which is a very exciting formation as the USC marching band steps smartly into the center of the field. marching band introducing the tribute to Troy this young lady symbolizing Helen of Troy and it's great to be a Trojan all over the world certainly is thrilled when they hear this kind of music from the alma mater. The Glee Club now moving off the field. Every time an athletic contest is being played, it's 
started at USC. And now coming out of the tunnel, here comes Traveler 2. White Trojan horse, Tommy Sacco, who really is not a Trojan himself, but is the man who trains the horse and is able to control it under, yeah, I think you have to admit, sort of tough circumstances for an animal. And this is Traveler 2. As is often the case on traditional football weekends at this time of the year, you have to be reasonably alert to take care of everything. The UCLA student card section in some trouble a couple of hours before the game today because all of their cards had suddenly disappeared, but they found them, and they'll be at work. In fact, they've already been at work this afternoon. The UCLA band is coming next following the performance by USC. University of Southern California, founded in 1880, the oldest and largest private coeducational university in the West. The Trojan football squad works for perfection, but so do the students of humanities, arts, sciences, and all major professions. USC continues to enroll many of the best students in California and in the nation, and over half of USC's 19,000 students are in graduate or professional study. USC serves in the heart of Los Angeles, a tremendously exciting urban laboratory. USC campus small enough to have a personality, yet big enough for the modern facilities necessary to meet the ever-growing needs of a rapidly changing community. The University of Southern California. The USC-UCLA game is being brought to you live and in color by Chevrolet, for your Chevrolet dealer's sports shop, the engine room of Chevy's sports department. And by INA, Insurance Company of North America, where imagination makes insurance more helpful to you. And by Smith Corona, America's number one portable typewriter. More people buy Smith Corona than any other portable typewriter in the world. And by Pan Am, the world's most experienced airline, the airline that makes the going great. And now on the field, the golden sound of the UCLA Bruin marching band.
The UCLA marching band under the direction of Parrot Sawhill and Kelly James now take a ride on the carousel as the band plays on. The band moving into its next formation. The music will be from the great fan of George and Ira Gershman. Strike up the band for UCLA. Coliseum and really making it quite difficult to see all the way across this great facility. You get an idea of the intensity of the fog there. is about upon us, the happiest time of the year, and in its last appearance for the UCLA band this year, the UCLA Glee Club, under the direction of Don Weeks, and some Christmas music. <laughs> Elaine Ickes is the UCLA Golden Girl, the twirler.
Marching band. As UCLA approaches its 50th anniversary as part of the University of California, it also approaches maturity in size and academic standing as well as athletic achievement. Enrollment estimates for the fall pointing toward a total of 28,000 students, making UCLA approximately the same size as the Berkeley campus. Here, UCLA has developed a dynamic 411-acre campus, now approximately 80% complete, dedicated to the serious business of producing high-quality graduates for California's growing needs in science, education, business, and industry. While physical expansion is the most obvious single facet of UCLA's growth, perhaps even more significant development, the university's vigorous achievement in instruction and research, which has earned it a respected place among the leading academic institutions of the nation. UCLA. Half time and the music over. Coming up, another 30 minutes of great football. The score here in Los Angeles, California, USC 14, UCLA 10. We're watching one of the great running backs of history here at the Coliseum today. I'm standing with a young man who was one of the great running backs at the U.S. Military Academy, Army Glenn Davis. And I know you stand in admiration of this fellow, O.J. Simpson. Well, I sure do. He's just playing a great game. He's, he's big, he's strong, he's got the durability, and he's quick. He's, gonna, he's a fine ball player and going to make a great pro. Glenn, it seems incredible the way he can absorb punishment and still come back. I don't understand it. He, he carries the ball anywhere from 20 to 45 times a game. And he, uh, just like last week, after carrying the ball 47 times, he's up and at him and skirts for the winning touchdown. Glenn, you look very well. It's good to see you go back in there. Well, thank you. I'd like to. <laughs> Glenn Davis, ladies and gentlemen. The ball game is underway here again is Chris. And Bob Chandler for Southern California takes Andrew Sishin's kickoff beginning the second half and brings it out across the 20-yard line to about the 22 where Jim Ford, number 92, makes the play. And these are the first half statistics, Bud Wilkinson. And you can see that Southern California had 10 more snaps on offense. They've dominated the statistics, both rushing and passing. The one fumble lost by UCLA set up the first Southern California touchdown. UCLA had the ball 10 seconds longer for 20 seconds longer than Southern California. Dan Scott, the fullback carrying on the play, and as you saw again, it was Simpson that went in motion to the far side. The one other statistic that uh, didn't show, or the big play that didn't show, was a 67-yard punt return by Curitan, which set up the touchdown for the Bruins of UCLA. Scott on a four-yard gain, it's second down and six. Here at the Coliseum, 14-10 SC leading. Third play from scrimmage. Second half. And O.J. Simpson, who has already uh, broken the NCAA mark of number of carries in a single season. He has a possibility of breaking the NCAA record of total rushing in a single season. And he is already broken the scoring record of SC with two touchdowns today for a total of 20, bud. He had 18 carries in the first half made 100 yards that's a 5.6 average and I think this is interesting he carried inside 13 times for 73 yards outside five times for 27 yards so he's got that balance all along the front a measurement here on the near side of the field you see Steve Soggy number six it appears that they were short by inches 14 10 is the score following 45 seconds into the first half Thanksgiving Day Texas with their great runner, Chris Gilbert, who is eighth in all-time rushing with a career total of over 3,000 yards, coached by Darrell Royal. And Gene Stallings and his Ann Ambers will move into Austin, led by Ed Hargett, their quarterback for our telecast on Thursday. As Chandler now of SC goes to the far side. From the 31, it's third down on inches. The guards were taking that slant that time, and it opened up beautifully on the quarterback sneak for Soggy. You just joined us. UCLA scored first after 12 minutes of the first quarter on a 32-yard field goal by Andrew Sishin. Then SC came back, Simpson going four yards, capping a 74-yard march to uh, take the lead. And then it was Simpson again uh, with a minute to go in the first half from four yards. And, of course, UCLA scored uh, a touchdown to get their 10 points on the board. As Hal Griffin 
carries the ball near the 40-yard line, or rather O.J. Simpson, tackled by Al Griffin. Oklahoma, 47-0. Is that a final score, bud? I said third quarter, but I believe that's how it ended, Chris. Sooners have been coming out awfully strong in the last month. Second down at seven now from the 39 of SC. Simpson. And he carries nearly 10 yards to the 49. He now has 117 yards. Let's watch the play again in slow motion. Scott blocking for Simpson. Here comes the toss. Mind blocked by Scott. Simpson cuts inside. Sees the daylight. Hurdles over the guard. And picks up the first down. The ball is at the 47. First and 10. Simpson, number 32, tackle by number 72, Larry Agajanian. If Simpson did not hit the entire front, he'd be quite a bit easier to defense. But uh, as it is, you don't know whether he's going to sweep either side, whether he's coming off tackle either side, or whether Scott's going to lead him inside the tackles. From the 49 of UCLA, at second and seven, as Chandler comes as a flanker to the near side. from the nation's number one team, Soggy intended for Chandler, and let's see it again. Chandler starting down the field. Outside break. Beautiful timing as Sperling comes in, bounces the ball on the tip drill, makes the catch, and if the field had just been one yard wider, it might have been six points. That's the first mistake by Southern California. The Bruins fumbled once in the first half. No mistakes by Southern Cal, but they've had the interception here. All right, from the 48-yard line, sophomore Jim Nader quarterbacking as Bolden was injured. Greg Jones, look at this, from the 40 of SC going wide. Gary Shaw, the rover man, made the stop at the SC 35, first and 10 for the Bruins. Here it is in slow motion. Jones is gone in motion, just drifting down the sidelines now. Nader hits him. He's wide open. The defense was moving with the throw. He cuts back across the field, really turns it on, and the last man, Shaw, makes the tackle. 12 minutes remaining in the third quarter. 14-10. This is UCLA trailing with the ball. 35-yard line. Sophomore Jim Nader to the 20, down at the 18. 17 yards on the play as Bob Jensen makes the stop, and the queen looks on. For those that uh, tuned in late, Chris, uh, that was the shift again to the unbalanced line by UCLA, a new formation for them this year, and that is the first time they've come to the short side of the unbalanced line. We have a very unfortunate penalty here, however. It's going to go against UCLA. Jim Snow, number 55, listening to what the referee, Charlie Moffat, had to say, accepted the penalty. It is holding, offensive holding, and it brings the ball back. That's a tough break for UCLA, and it brings it back to the 46-yard line. It makes it first down and 21 now. Measured from the spot of the foul, and now let's see what UCLA will be able to do. They split their left end, Ron Copeland. Gwen Cooper comes to the near side. Greg Jones is set number 43. Purdy. Fog rolling in. The field likes trying to pierce through the moisture. Tony Terry on the tackle. Inside the 45. Let's call it the 43-yard line, a gain of three, so it'll be second down and 18. And that is uh, Engineer Cooper, who uh, helps lead the cheering for UCLA. Jim Nader. Pass was off the mark. 
couldn't be fielded by Ron Copeland, the senior left end number 88. So it brings up a third down and 18. Copeland, incidentally, was wide open over at the 30-yard line. This road has got to be tough on the field. As you can see, the smog and the fog rolling in. Ron Copeland now split left. In the slot is Gwyn Cooper. Now coming back into a setback position. And the SC defense, number 74, Tony Terry. And Jim Obima, number 34, converge on the quarterback at the 45-yard line. It'll be fourth down and 20. Zinnan Andrew Shishin, who led the nation in punting last year in the NCAA. He is third this year. Landrick centering the ball. Mike Battle in single safety, number 17, motioning to allow the ball to go into the end zone and throw it for a touchback. 45-yard punt by UCLA as we have a timeout here at the Coliseum in Los Angeles. The score, SC 14, UCLA 10. A great new thing has happened to cars with the GM, mark of excellence. It's the crime-fighting steering column. Remove your ignition key and the wheel locks in place. new cars with the GM mark of excellence when you want to get ahead of the crowd Delco energizer with instant power burst Curls the biggest, fastest bolt of starting energy Delco's ever developed for your car. Wherever you see the United Delco sign. Fog at the Los Angeles Coliseum. And today it is the nation's number one team going against crosstown rival UCLA, SC leading 14 to 10 and following an Andrew Sishin punt. SC has the ball at its own 20, first and 10 with Steve Soggy at quarterback. Chandler, Scott, and Simpson in the backfield. Simpson needs three yards to break the single season rushing record of the NCAA, which is held by Eugene uh, Mercury Morris of West Texas State, who has already completed his season of 1,571 yards. No gain on that play. And this is the, the queen that will be competing along with other conference and regional winners later on. That's Simpson in motion. Second down and 10, and Scott gets the call. Widmer helped to stop the ball carrier after two yards to the 22. So it'll be a third down and eight for Southern California. In the lineup, Sam Dickerson, number 18, replacing Bob Miller, number 86, at end. Simpson has scored both SC touchdowns. Curitan scored the touchdown for UCLA, and Rusician kicking a 32-yard field goal. Dickerson to the far side, Soggy. Simpson. A little one-on-one -on -one action, and it's not much of a contest. That is his third catch today. He has picked up 41 yards in the air. On the ground, he has been uh, just super in 23 carries, 121 yards. As we look at Steve Soggy, we have a fourth down and seven, and John Young will punt for the Trojans. Mickey Curran, who scored the only UCLA touchdown, is deep. He returned the punt 67 yards to up. He is under it. Jordan looks at it, waits, 
I'm not sure he could see it up there in the smog and fog. It is really rolling in here. 42 yards in distance is Tommy Prothrow. Shouts instructions. You know, every Sunday throughout the NCAA college football season, ABC Sports has a special show for you featuring Saturday's top collegiate games from around the country. Tomorrow on College Football 68, we'll nationally feature games between Michigan and Ohio State, Kansas, Missouri, and Yale, Harvard. Our Eastern Gurus will have an added attraction, Pittsburgh versus Penn State, while our Western Gurus will see California Stanford. That's College Football 68 at 12 noon Eastern Time on ABC. Nader, quarterback, first and 10 from the 34, giving to Greg Jones as a penalty marker goes down. Well, the UCLA defense held the Trojans, forcing them to punt, and the penalty now is against UCLA. That's 15-yard penalties there. Play a ball control game. And it thwarted their uh, previous drive. And it's not going to be very healthy here because it gives them lousy field position. Brings them back here to inside their own 20-yard line. Back to the 19. But the down remains the same, and that's not much consolation for the Bruin fans. First and 25 from the 19. UCLA has 111 yards rushing thus far in the game. Southern California nearly doubled the number of yards. Nader, nailed. Loose ball, but let's see if the whistle had gone. The whistle had blown the play dead. But Al Cowlings, a momentary thrill, made the tackle on Nader. And it was some tackle. Well, on the near side, the Southern California fans didn't like the call. Referee is right there. And the play is at the 12, so it's going to be a second down and 32, seven-yard loss. And I don't believe the uh, players could hear their leader's signals, so the referee, Charlie Moffat, has stopped play momentarily, and now number 51 of Southern California, Jensen, has motioned to uh, the SC fans to cool it so here we go second down and 32 we have about nine and a half minutes remaining in the third quarter SC leads 14 to 10 what a game another jarring tackle on sophomore fullback Bob Manning who was he hit by Al Cowlings who got the quarterback the previous play Southern California has changed their defensive alignment against the unbalanced set being used by UCLA after the shift to a 6-1, and the 6-1 certainly was effective on the last three snaps. On third and 35, UCLA will punt. Andrew Sishin, third in the nation. Mike Banners waits the punt. Andrew Sishin really gets his foot into it. It comes down at the 41 of SC. Mike Battle comes to midfield. What a run back by Battle. Got some other people can carry the ball. Mike Battle, the leading punt return man going into the game, returned to 38 yards. The punt went 50 yards, and Mike Garrett made the tackle. Watch it again. He's got great balance. And as I mentioned a moment ago, there are other people on this Southern California team that can carry the football. Look at Mike Hurdle. Almost into the clear. Mike led the nation in punt returns last year. And that was Simpson that drew two UCLA defenders, Bob Geddes for one, number 93. Number 90, Lee McElroy of Beaumont, Texas. The ball is at the 23-yard line, a gain of two. So it'll be second down and eight. And pretty much official Simpson has tied the single season rushing record of Morris of West Texas State and he adds to it moving to the 17 yard line 
There was very little daylight there, but what there was, he found. And the fog, as you can see, in impairing vision of spectators in particular, and uh, if it continues to roll in, it, it won't help uh, the passing game. As Chandler now is flanked to the near side on the third down and five. And Simpson appears to have gotten the first down outside the 10 yard line. But the ball is spotted back of uh, the stake. So it's going to be a fourth down coming up as McElroy made the stop for UCLA. The ball is at the 12 yard line and they need, well it appears to be a little less than a yard in the fog. Chandler flanked to this side on a fourth down and one. Great call by Soggy. They were looking for everybody but Soggy. Steve Soggy. Behind Simpson, the number two total offense leader on the USC squad, and he is the number three rusher on the team behind Simpson and Scott. That was an automatic at the line of scrimmage. We felt that the guards were a little bit wide. First and goal now. From about the two-yard line, 14-10 SC leading. They have the ball. Touchdown. And the fullback gets the third Southern California touchdown. Dan Scott and his teammates uh, pretty much overjoyed with his performance. That's the kind of morale, Chris, that makes you number one. And there's a reason for it, because Bud, that was his first touchdown of the year. He's blocked a lot of touchdowns. That's right. Ayala will try for the point after. And it's perfect. All right, it's time out at the Coliseum in Los Angeles. The score now in the third quarter, USC 21, UCLA 10. <laughs> Bargain hunters of the world, your hunting days are over. Now you can find a whole new world of bargain tours like you've never seen before, all under one roof. The tours are called Pan Am Holidays. They cover every part of the world. They come in all prices and styles, from basic bus to savvy safari. They're planned by somebody who knows the tour business inside out, and they're backed by the world's most experienced airline. See a Pan Am travel agent or a Pan Am ticket office. Walk through one door and you can walk out with the world. Pan Am makes the going great. Pan Am makes the going great. Forty-three, Greg Jones on the far side. Number thirty, Mickey Curitan on the near side. Await Ron Ayala's kick following the third Southern California touchdown and the first of the year for fullback Dan Scott. It's 21 to 10 with five and a half minutes remaining in the third quarter. It was Mike Garrett, an offensive end, that picked up the ball and tried to get outside and is down at in the vicinity of the 32 yard line. There you see the all time rushers for one season. Simpson having uh, taken the title away from Mercury Morris of West Texas State. You see the name of Fred Wendt. Ollie Matson and Wilfred White. Jim Nader, quarterback. Slot formation to the far side. Greg Jones, the junior halfback, set out as a wingback on that play, number 43. Moves the ball from the 32 for a first down into SC territory. Mark Jones, as he runs his swing pattern, Nader was rolling to the left of the screen. Jones is open as he swings down the sidelines. Here comes Nader's pass, a perfect throw. Good field position now on the 46 for UCLA. Right after 21 yards, UCLA with the ball. 
First down. And there's Al Cowlings again, number 72, native of San Francisco, a criminology major at Southern California. Made the big play. Forcing uh, UCLA back to its own 45 for an eight yard loss with a second down and 18. Cooper, 41 in the slot. Mickey Curitan. Mike Battle with 17. And there was one other player that was at his uh, shoe top. That was Gary Shaw, number 46. And Mike uh, Halyuchak in on the play for SC. Southern California slants the line on almost every snap. When they're going in the same direction as the ball, it's very difficult to keep them from penetrating. Third down and about 10 now. Cooper goes to the far side, a flanker. Copeland, put to the right, going out. Copeland. Covered on the play by number 50, Mike Halyuchak. And he was well covered. Yesterday, uh, here in uh, Los Angeles, the freshman of UCLA defeated the SC freshman by two touchdowns. As we indicated, UCLA loses only one player from its defensive unit. They're very young. So next year should be quite a year for them as their punter, Andrew Sishin, kicks for the fifth time with a 44-yard average today. In the fog. Looking into it is Mike Battle, who had a great run back to set up the third touchdown for SC. And wow, he is down at the 11. He's a little bit disappointed that he signaled for that fair catch. A 38 yard punt. Saturday afternoons in the fall mean colorful college football here at ABC. With timeout, the score Southern California 21, UCLA 10. When people set out to buy a portable typewriter, they have 15 different brands to choose from. But more Americans come home with a Smith Corona than any other brand. Of all the toothpastes that promise to get teeth whiter, which one gets them the whitest? Just recently, a major dental clinic tested the leading brand's promising whiteness. The clinic did the brushing. The clinic did the rating. And McLean's won. Of the leading brands that promise to get teeth whiter, McLean's got them the whitest. Shouldn't you be using the winner? All the color of college football coming your way from Memorial Coliseum today. 21 to 10, and SC has the ball at its own 11-yard line. First and 10, Soggy to Simpson. Widmer again in on the tackle for the UCLA defense. OJ now has carried the ball 28 times for 133 yards and two touchdowns today, if you just joined us. Picked up three on that play to the 14, second and seven. He's in the eye formation behind his blocking fullback, Dan Scott. Scott, who scored the other SC touchdown, carried on the last play, to the 38, and Widmer again on the tackle. Third down. The 4-4 defense being used by UCLA has been consistently effective. However, Simpson, when he finds any little room, is able to pick up yards that very few other backs would. Three minutes and 40 seconds remaining in the third quarter. Third down and five. And Simpson thrown for a loss. And was uh, juggling the ball in the process. We can watch it come back now from Soggy. It's a sweet play called. Simpson couldn't quite hold it, but he didn't ever take his eye off the football. And he brought it back in, but by the time the ball came down, the defense was there. So it is fourth down and ten. 
Nick Davidson did the great rush for UCLA. Single safety for the Bruins, the fourth Southern California punt. They've been averaging 37 yards. Puritan awaits the kick by John Young. Ooh, luckily got it away. Still in SC territory. 25 yards, and now UCLA, with fine field position, gets the ball. It was Kim Griffith who put the rush on punter John Young along with Wes Grant. I believe that uh, Spog and Fogg are making it very difficult to see the ball. Uh, it was a good snap from center, but he momentarily bobbled it, which almost caused the kick to be blocked. From the Trojan 37, UCLA first and 10. Mickey Curitan from Compton, California, number 30, stopped by Mike Battle on the play. He is a determined sophomore, stopping at the 31, second down, and four. Greg Jones now is back in the lineup, number 43, replacing Curitan. Minute and 15 seconds remaining in the third quarter, 21-10, SC. In the lead. A little flanker around Gwyn Cooper. And the SC defense diagnosed it as Nader gave to Jones. Coming around was Cooper. And it's a loss of nine yards back to the 40, where it'll be third down and 13. Very tough. Go ahead, bud. I was simply going to say that it looked as though the Bruins had the first down practically made. It was a good call, but the defense, as you pointed out, refused to go with the first fake and ate up the reverse. Third and 13. It is received inside the 25 at the 24, 16-yard gain by Ron Copeland. Let's watch Copeland here. You can see that he's being double teamed. He makes the first move to the inside, then breaks to the outside, being chased. But the ball is perfectly thrown. He catches it right on the sideline stripe, inbound bounds, and now it is first down for the Bruins. At the 24 of SC, with about 25 seconds remaining in the third quarter, Becky Curitan alternating with Greg Jones at halfback or perhaps two yards on the play. And uh, the dew, California dew off the Pacific Ocean has really uh, come in lower now inside Memorial Coliseum, scene of the 32 Olympic Games, as you may remember. And the gun has just sounded here in the Coliseum, indicating that that's the end of the third quarter. The Coliseum in Los Angeles, where the score is USC 21, UCLA 10. Approximately five after five in the afternoon in Los Angeles, UCLA has a second and seven at the SC 21, the beginning of the fourth quarter. Jim Nader handing the ball off to Greg Jones, number 43, with Bill Redding on the tackle or the Southern California defense. At the 19, it is third down and five. 21 to 10 is the score. The nation's number one team leading. Yeah. 
Beautiful job by inexperienced Jim Nader, the sophomore. To Greg Jones. Let's watch it in slow motion. Jones set as a wing back. So the spread out pass. Jones breaking into the flat. Nader was rushed, but he hung it in there perfectly. Jones turns downfield. The defense is there, but it's first down for the Bruins. At the nine yard line, first and goal. Nicky Pearson, another stop for us, scores his second touchdown. Great blocking that time. They really wrapped up the tackle. And as Puritan came wide, he was able to cut inside the halfback and use that speed to take it into the end zone. His uncle, Hardiman Puritan, was an All-American guard at UCLA in 1955, captain of the squad that year. And so UCLA is on the board, 21-16, after 45 seconds of the fourth and final quarter. So don't go away. A determined underdog, Bruin team, as they undoubtedly will go for two now. Getting a delay of the game penalty on the extra point, and I imagine that that will do something to Tommy Prothrow's concern about going for the two. Well, a drive that started at the UCLA 37, 53 yards, and they did it in seven plays. They're still going to go for the two points. With the score 21 to 16, it's the wise decision. Linebacker coming up and playing perfect pass defense, Jim Snow, as we again in slow motion watch the TD. Curitan getting the perfect pitch back from Nader, turning the speed, and you can see the blocking there as the tackle was wrapped up. Here's Curitan breaking inside the halfback, and he gets a beautiful block on the linebacker, Snow, and then his determination carries him into the end zone as the tackle is made by battle. The hundredth season of NCAA college football all started Princeton Rutgers in 1869. But we continue our exclusive coverage next Thursday in Austin, Texas, Thanksgiving Day. Texas hosting Texas A&M, and then a big doubleheader next Saturday. We have next Saturday here in the same stadium, Southern California against Notre Dame. And preceding that game from Philadelphia will be the service classic Army-Navy game. Andrew Sishin now will kick from right to left. Very little wind, lots of fog, as O.J. Simpson is deep here on the near side at the bottom and left of your screen. And at the top, that is number nine, Bob Chandler. <laughs> Kicking away from Simpson to Chandler in the end zone. Good idea, because there were a lot of light blue shirts inside the 10. So to come out to the 20, where it'll be first and 10, there is Simpson. 29 rushes, 129 yards, two touchdowns today for a total of 20 on the season, and they have one game to play. This is the last game of this season for UCLA. Steve Sagi now with Scott and O.J. Simpson behind him from the 20. And Sagi on the carry. Gardena, California, a senior majoring in business administration. What are those third quarter statistics? They show the game fairly even. Uh, Southern California, 57 offensive plays to 44, leading by two in first downs. Yardage very much in favor of Southern California, but again, the 67 yard punt return by Curitan not showing in those statistics. The time is relatively even 22 50 for Southern California, 22 10 for the Bruins. Second and five for SC. And Simpson down. Uh, let's see the, what the penalty will be. We notice a flag there. Don Widmer for UCLA. And Bob Bartlett, number 80. Bartlett also from Gardena, California. Oh, 
It is against UCLA offside. And it's a first down. The second and five on the play. Second time today, Bud, that as a result of a penalty, SC has picked up the first down. The looping by the two interior men, Giddies and Agadjanian, for UCLA has been very effective against most of the running of Southern California, but not against the quarterback sneak. From the 30, Sagi to Simpson. Don Widmer in on the play. You see him getting up. 55 along with number 65. For UCLA, Hal Griffin, the defensive right end. So a gain of two yards to the 32. It's second down and eight. Lots of time left in the ball game. We have 13 minutes and 10 seconds to go. It is SC 21, UCLA 16. And Sam Dickerson is the split into the near side. In the slot is Chandler. Sagi. Pass defense, superb by number 26, Mark Gustafson from Corvallis, Oregon. He really made a super move. He was covering the flat man, and when his ball was in the air, he moved back about nine yards to get his hands on it and cut it off. UCLA this year has intercepted uh, 12 passes. They've been intercepted 16 times. Southern California has intercepted eight and have been inter and have intercepted 13. Humphrey Covington in a fullback now. Number 39. Third and eight. So it's a fourth and eight as a UCLA pass defense has come up with fine plays. Bob Chandler, the intended receiver, and with the ball at the 32, it'll be SC punting. And you can see from the expressions on the sidelines that they feel that the Bruins are getting that momentum going here in the fourth quarter. For UCLA, we must pat Wes Grant, junior defensive end on the play for rushing Sagi. Back is Johnny Young, his sixth punt of the afternoon, averaging 33 yards. Curitan is deep. Despite the bad snap, gets it off. Curitan watches. It rolls. A use, an SC bounce at about the 25-yard line, a 43-yard punt. Timeout at the fog-covered Coliseum in Los Angeles. The score, SC 21, UCLA 16. We've made a swimming pool out of a 69 Chevrolet pickup by using a plastic liner. Purpose to test Chevy's ride. If that water splashes out, You'll see it when this fleet side travels over this track of two by fours. There's just no way your cargo can get a smoother ride, unless you put it in a Chevrolet cab. Lots of time left in the ball game. After a punt, it's UCLA with the ball at its own 24. First and 10, 21-16 is the score. SC leading a determined UCLA Mickey Curitan. Carrying on the play, bringing it up to about the 30, and Mike Battle is in on the stop, number 17 in the maroon jersey. It appears Southern California has changed their defense. That time they were in a 6-1-4, playing man-for-man -man pass defense in the secondary. Well, our camera, with its wonderful lens, is showing you the clock that we have trouble seeing because of the fog. 12 minutes, 10 seconds, left in the ball game, second and six for UCLA. Beautiful move by Jim Nader, the quarterback, and Rick Purdy. What a combination. The fullback draw play off the sprint out pass. The end went wide, believing Nader would keep the ball. Palmed off to Purdy, and he had lots of running room. 13 yards, the first down. 
Jim Snow and Battle on the tackle. The ball now, let's call it the 42-yard line of UCLA. They trail by only five points. He can move around in there. He certainly can. Jim Snow made the stop. Curious now, nine carries, 39 yards. UCLA, from their unbalanced line, believes that when Southern California is in the five and they are overshifted to the unbalanced side, that they will slant back to the undershifted side. If they don't overshift, they're going to slant to the overshift. And thus far, they've been exactly right every time. This is the overshift. At the 47, second and five, UCLA in their own territory. Beautiful faking. This time to Mike Garrett, junior offensive end. Mm. I think you can see the defensive line that time as they were overshifted and as the ball was snapped, made their move to the top of the screen. Grissom and Redding on the stop at the 45, a gain of eight yards, first down. The first downs now are Southern California 12, UCLA 11. Through the fog. We watch the ship. Fine second effort by sophomore Curitan. Halichak and Snow. And a great defensive charge by both of them. And uh, Bill Redding, number 56, was there. Loss of a yard, 46, second down, and 11. Time left in the ball game, 10 minutes and 15 seconds. SC is leading 21 to 16. Third and eight. So it's a fourth and eight as a UCLA pass defense has come up with fine plays. Bob Chandler, the intended receiver, and with the ball at the 32, it'll be SC punting. And you can see from the expressions on the sidelines that they feel that the Bruins are getting that momentum going here in the fourth quarter. For UCLA, we must pat Wes Grant, junior defensive end on the play for rushing. Soggy. Back is Johnny Young, his sixth punt of the afternoon, averaging 33 yards. Curitan is deep. Despite the bad snap, gets it off. Curitan watches. It rolls. A use, an SC bounce at about the 25-yard line, a 43-yard punt. Timeout at the fog-covered Coliseum in Los Angeles. The score, SC 21, UCLA 16. We've made a swimming pool out of a 69 Chevrolet pickup by using a plastic liner. Purpose to test Chevy's ride. If that water splashes out, you'll see it when this fleet side travels over this track of 2x4s. can get a smoother ride, unless you put it in a Chevrolet cab. Lots of time left in the ball game. After a punt, it's UCLA with the ball at its own 24. First and 10, 21-16 is the score. SC leading a determined UCLA Mickey Curitan carrying on the play, bringing it up to about the 30, and Mike Battle He's in on the stop, number 17 in the maroon jersey. It appears Southern California has changed their defense. That time they were in a 6-1-4, playing man-for-man -man pass defense in the secondary. Well, our camera, with its wonderful lens, is showing you the clock that we have trouble seeing because of the fog. 12 minutes, 10 seconds, left in the ball game. Second and six for UCLA. Beautiful move by Jim Nader, the quarterback, and Rick Purdy. What a combination. 
The fullback draw play off the sprint out pass. The end went wide, believing Nader would keep the ball. Found off to Purdy, and he had lots of running room. 13 yards, the first down. Jim Snow and battle on the tackle. The ball now, let's call it the 42-yard line of UCLA. They trail by only five points. He can move around in there. He certainly can. Jim Snow made the stop. Jordan Houston. now, nine carries, 39 yards. UCLA, from their unbalanced line, believes that when Southern California is in the five and they are overshifted to the unbalanced side, that they will slant back to the undershifted side. If they don't overshift, they're going to slant to the overshift. And thus far, they've been exactly right every time. This is the overshift. At the 47, second and five, UCLA in their own territory. Beautiful faking. This time to Mike Garrett, junior offensive end. Mm. I think you can see the defensive line that time as they were overshifted and as the ball was snapped, made their move to the top of the screen. Grissom and Redding on the stop at the 45, a gain of eight yards, first down. The first downs now are Southern California 12, UCLA 11. Through the fog. We watch the ship. Fine second effort by sophomore Curitan. Halichak and Snow. And a great defensive charge by both of them. And uh, Bill Redding, number 56, was there. Lots of a yard, 46, second down and 11. Time left in the ball game, 10 minutes and 15 seconds. SC is leading 21 to 16. One of six major untied, undefeated teams going into this afternoon of football all over the country. Harvard and Yale, two of them, tied at 29 all. Excitement, color, and tradition every Saturday on NCAA college football. With time out here, the score is SC 21, UCLA 16. Winter, don't let the cold stop you. Fill up with dry Sunoco gasoline. Because no matter how cold it gets, with dry Sunoco gasoline, your car starts like it's summertime. People in the know, they're moving to Sunoco, moving to Sunoco. If you want to go places this winter, start here for the tank of dry Sunoco gasoline. With dry Sunoco gasoline, all winter long, your car starts like it's summertime. People in the know, they're moving to Sunoco, moving to Sunoco. When you stop at Sunoco, you go with confidence. Back again at Los Angeles Coliseum for UCLA. They have the ball at the 46 of SC with a second down and 11. Cooper to the far side. Jordan in the backfield. This is Jim Nader. A wonderful call. He is completing 61% of his passes. Calls his own number and John Blanche makes the stop at the 30-yard line. A gain of 16 first down. Bill Bolden, who uh, missed three games this year as a result of a shoulder separation, started this ball game, but was re-injured, and it was Nader that came off the bench to lead the attack, and now we have uh, another injury. Next Saturday, we'll bring you a great doubleheader. ABC, with the approval of the NCAA, for the first time, will be able to select a key game for telecasting during the season because of the game's significance. This game next week will be Notre Dame against number one ranked Southern California and, of course, O.J. Simpson. And it uh, should be a great one. Incidentally, the first game of the doubleheader, which will begin at 1.15 Eastern Standard Time, will be the 69th meeting between Army's cadets and Navy's midshipmen. 
So be sure to be with us for this great doubleheader next Saturday afternoon, beginning at 1.15 Eastern Standard Time and in color here on ABC, America's number one sports network. Eight or five of nine for 61 yards, as you can see. The last play started as a sprint out pass, and I honestly couldn't tell whether it was a quarterback draw play. The way it opened up, it looked almost like it was designed that way, but the way the Southern California defense has been stunning, it may have been that Nader saw the opening and simply took it. All right. We mentioned six undefeated and untied teams going into this Saturday afternoon of football. As Jim Grissom now, fine defensive end for Southern California is being assisted off the field. Uh, Ohio State, and of course they remain undefeated, 9-0, and and there's Bill Bolden, the UCLA quarterback who was injured early. And his replacement has done a superb job. And now Grissom carried off the field. Michigan, having played Ohio State, is now 8-2. and two. Ohio University today going uh, into action 9-0, and oh, finishing with Northern Illinois and Southern California and uh, bowl-bound Penn State, both 8-0. And, oh, and Harvard Yale tied, so they are still undefeated, but they do have a tie on their record. That must have been a wild one. Oh, that must have been. This is a wild one here in Los Angeles, in the fog. We now have a first and 10 at the 30. For UCLA, they trail by five points. With about 10 minutes left in the game, here is Nader. Gets a good block and moves inside the 20. Greg Jones through the block. Quarterback sweep by Nader. He ran that one just like Gary Beaven used to last year. First down, the carry to the 17, 13 yards, as Nader now has 29 yards in six carries. Anderson with a 32-yard field goal. Mickey Curry with two touchdowns as they tried to go for two on their last. Now they trail by five. They're at the SC-17. There's Curriton, number 30. 51 is Bob Jensen. 65 in on the tackle, along with 55, Jim Snow. The offensive, excuse me, Chris, the offensive formation being used by UCLA after the shift, as I pointed out, but I'll remind everybody one more time, is an unbalanced line, and it's the first time this year that UCLA has used this set. And it's second and eight for them at the 15 of Southern California. Nader. Out of bounds around the 10. Greg Jones again, helping to block. The short side of the unbalanced line is a very close corner, and Nader has been able to turn it on the last two quarterback sweeps. A gain of five, so it's going to be third down and three. There you see Nader, number 15, number 67, Dennis Alabaugh, the left guard. Rick Petula is the right guard. Raiders and Bosserman, the tackles for UCLA with Copeland and Garrett, the ends. And then once again, we're getting a timeout because of noise. Referee's timeout, hoping the crowd will settle down a little bit. Eight minutes and 55 seconds remaining in the ball game. 21-16, SC leading. Third and three. Thirty was trying for the first and goal. Did he get it? Yes, he did. And UCLA, first and goal to go at about the seven-yard line. Steve Preston now is in at offensive center, number 58. was Greg Jones. Chris, that was one of the best carries of the day. He was hit behind the line of scrimmage, and he simply refused to go down. Gary Shaw and Mike Battle on the stop for the SC defense, and so good. Let's watch it again. Let's watch it here. Toss coming back from Nader, and he's hit 
And then he simply battled his way forward to turn what would have been no gain into a three-yard pickup. Second and goal now from the five. Loose ball! Boy, oh boy, that was an honest bounce if you're a Bruins fan. The UCLA Bruins on a second and goal from about the five. Purdy fumbled the ball, and Dennis Allenbaugh, who we mentioned just a little earlier as the offensive left guard, recovered it at the one and a half. And now if UCLA can score, this is third down. They can take the lead. Once again, that turf. Look at that fumble again and recovery. It's the rollout. The ball was batted out of his hand, as you can see, and it's absolutely loose. But it took that great Bruin bounce. Well, now from about the three, it is fourth down. Seven and a half minutes remaining in the ball game. Southern California, 21, UCLA, 16, and there's the UCLA coach. After the last UCLA touchdown, they went for two on the extra point, even though they had a five-yard penalty for delay of the game. Had they have made that, of course, a field goal here could tie the ball game. All right. Jim Nader looking to the stands. Battling the fog is enough, and, of course, the noise level is something else. We have a timeout at the Coliseum in Los Angeles where the score, SC21, UCLA 16, as we return to our studios for this message. It's not how long you make it. It's how you make it long. And here's how. New Super King Size Winston cigarettes, made long with an extra measure of the famous good taste that has made Winston America's largest selling cigarette. Buy a pack of new Super King Size Winstons today. Christmas presents. The Swinger. Black and white prints in 15 seconds, under $20. The big swinger, brand new this Christmas. A few dollars more, but much bigger pictures. Polaroid color pack camera, a lot of pleasure for less than $50. One problem, though. Who gets which? Well, now the Southern California defense faces perhaps its sternest test of this season as they're ranked number one undefeated as UCLA has a fourth down coming up. And they trail by five points. You can see the Southern California defenders. Concentration, intentness. This is the big play. A power eye formation. A split left end. Now into the slot. Garrett to this side. Oh, it was deflected. Was also rushed. Intended for Gwen Cooper. What a deflection on pass defense number 51. That is Bob Jensen, and he has had a great afternoon from Anaheim, California. So SC takes over on downs and remains in the lead by five points as we have six and a half minutes remaining in the ball game. They take over. First down at their own three. And the UCLA defense certainly will be digging in here, hoping to keep them from making the first down because they'll have excellent field position if they can do it. Once again, that crowd noise. Six and a half to go. Following uh, this play, we'll show you the uh, deflected defensive job by Jensen. O.J. Simpson. Carry the ball across the five to about the seven. Nader's rushed. You can see Jensen coming across here, and there he just pops his hand on the ball. He didn't quite get all of it, but he got enough of it to keep the ball from sailing through to its target. And it falls harmlessly into the end zone, enabling 
Southern California to take over. Second and six from the seven. And Simpson comes out to the 15 for the Trojan. First down. Bob Bartlett on the tackle. OJ now with 32 carries, 143 yards, two touchdowns. Number 32. Behind is fullback, number 38, Scott. Number six is Soggy. Chandler is the flanker back. Number 15. He Simpson, to, no game. Tried to go for that daylight, but he couldn't find it because there wasn't any. Time now, a factor. We have five and a half minutes remaining in the ball game as Rick Davidson did the defensive work mainly for UCLA at about the 16, where it'll be second down and nine for Southern California. There's John McKay and his staff. The uh, first one without the coat on the right. Simpson and Scott in the eye. Simpson. And the deep back. And this is the big play coming up. If Southern Cal is forced to kick. The momentum will be riding with the Bruins. 250 pound Larry Agajanian made the stop. Number 86 that you saw with uh, at number 32 Simpson was Bob Miller, 6'5", 230. Third down and eight is right. The clock is running. Four minutes, 40 seconds left in the game. Sam Dickerson. And trying for the first down, a big one is Simpson. Did he get it? Yes, <laughs> he did. Dennis Sperling. Made the uh, stop. This is some idea of how well this boy plays. It's the sprint out pass draw. And you can see him as he just simply sifts through everybody. Last man finally pulls him down. That's Sperling. But not before the first down was picked up. The vital first down. He needed eight. He got ten. From the 27. Their own 27. Four minutes, ten seconds left in the game. Simpson again. 21-16 is the score. SC undefeated number one in the lead. Bob Bartlett on the tackle. As you can see, now less than four minutes. Simpson with 158 yards rushing today. And a week from today, following the Army-Navy game, we'll be bringing you live and in color from the Coliseum, Notre Dame, Southern California. Chandler to the far side now. On a second down and eight. And Scott carries the ball. Scott divided. Simpson went to the top of your screen, and the two linebackers of UCLA went with Simpson, and Scott found daylight. Dan Scott, number 38. His nickname is Itchy. It's Foggy. The Coliseum. There's Simpson. And now it's a third down and one. Three minutes. Clock running, left in the game. Third down for the leaders, SC. Whoops. And if it's against UCLA, it'll be the third time. Nope, nope. It's, uh, he was drawn off by Southern California on a procedure call, five yards. Change that situation in a hurry. Wow. So it'll be third down and six now. Don't forget the traditional game on Thanksgiving on ABC, Texas A&M and Texas, 2.45 Eastern Standard Time, Thanksgiving Day. We'll see a great runner in Chris Gilbert, fine quarterback in A&M's Ed Hargett, as Simpson tries for the first down, keeps battling. They really went with him, all 11 Bruins that time. Lots of blue jerseys, as we have two and one-half minutes, unofficially, remaining in the ball game. Wes Grant and Don Widmer leading as UCLA now has asked for a timeout. USC with 65 plays, 263 yards, of which Simpson has 158. UCLA with the ball 59 times for 214 yards. Coming up immediately following our USC-UCLA game, stay tuned for college football today. The scores and highlights of today's top college game. Well, it's fourth down and five. Two and a half minutes to go. And John Young 
number 15 of the Trojans is in the lineup and going deep is speedy Mickey Curidan number 30 for UCLA there you get a look at Mickey I can take it all away and we win this one. And he has scored the two UCLA touchdowns today. And coming in is, uh, there you see, number 15, John Young, the Southern California punter. He doesn't want to bobble this kid step from center as he has the last two. Standing very deep, it's a little high, plenty of time. It's end over end, low. And one of those that is inside the 30 and now but you want to give Curitan uh, any chance to run that ball back he just deliberately almost swift kicked it so that there would be no way Curitan would have any running room Jack O'Malley of SC down the ball and now quickly up to the line of scrimmage no huddle At the 31 yard line we have UCLA with their sophomore quarterback Jim Nader they're trailing 21 16 two minutes 20 seconds left in the game A great catch by Gwen Cooper in Southern California territory at and the 48 yard line. And a great throw and great pass protection. John Young, and there they are again. First and 10. We have two minutes and 10 seconds left in the ball game. Another fine defensive play, pass defense by Gary Shaw, the Rover man. Nader now has thrown 11 times, completing six. Intended for Cooper once more, number 41 of UCLA. In completion, stopping the clock with just a little less, as you see, two minutes in the ballgame. Second down and 10 at the 48-yard line of SC. Gwen Cooper. It's to the far side. Copeland is opposite. A deflected pass. Intercepted. Jim Snow. On a deflection, Jim Snow is at the right spot. There he is, number 55. Big play. The ball was in the air long enough. And wow. As it came down, he fielded it like... The second baseman going back for one of those little soft high flies. UCLA's quarterback, Bill Bolden, on the sideline, having been injured early in the ball game. Steve Soggy now for SC, takes over at his own 43. And they give it to OJ, who moves to the UCLA 39. Let's watch OJ again in slow motion. Scott blocking for him. He slides through, just absolutely runs past the halfback, runs past the safety man, and then is caught by the pursuing linebacker. 18 yards on the play, now totaling 174 and two touchdowns. They're at the 39 of UCLA. Minute and a half to go. And Scott. Clock running a minute 15 to go. 8 and 0. SC. Trying to remain undefeated and uh, with Notre Dame idle today, resting up next Saturday's game from the Coliseum should be something. It will be. Chandler is flanked to the near side. This is a second down and one at the 30. Without... There he goes. He is just unbelievable. O.J. Simpson. First and goal. Slow motion. Let's watch it again. Scott leading him. There's the handoff. And he simply turns on the speed. 
Great downfield block there. Uses that arm to throw the halfback off. And he just didn't quite have room enough to open it up as he's brought down on the four-yard line. 39 carries, 203 yards for Simpson. Outside, and... It's a little easy. They made it look so easy. I guess the only word about him. Uh, just super. Magnificent. All right. The only way you can really slow him down is with our slow motion equipment. Is that won't even stop him. He just keeps coming at you, and uh, sooner or later, he finds that little bit of room. Well, again, taking advantage of an opportunity, an interception by Jim Snow, and they go to UCLA 43, and in uh, four plays, O.J. Simpson scores his third touchdown of the afternoon. Ayala's point after attempt is good. With 25 seconds left in the ball game. Mm. So it's a 28 to 16 ball game, as you see. Late in the afternoon, West Coast time, about 5.45. If you look at Tommy Prothro. Speaking of runners, the finest cross-country runners in the nation will be battling for the University Division Championship Monday in New York City. During the school year, the NCAA conducts 23 national championships in 14 different sports. They are the most coveted goals of more than 100,000 student athletes. Matt Ayala now will try for the point after, or I mean the uh, kick following the touchdown. With 25 seconds, we look at uh, Ron. And deep is Greg Jones and Mickey Curitan. Curitan to the far side. 28-16. SC leading. At the 30. Return of about seven yards by Dennis Sperling. 22 seconds on the Los Angeles Memorial Coliseum clock. And the carriage of the victory bell off a Southern Pacific Railroad steam locomotive, which has been the symbol of victory in this inner city rivalry, it was painted maroon from last year's SC victory, and it appears that it'll remain maroon for at least another year. Nader at quarterback at the 37 for UCLA. Jim Nader trying to hit Cooper now with 16 seconds remaining in the ball game. Mike Battle covering. An estimated crowd of 85,000 here at the Coliseum and in a game that in 37 previous meetings has averaged nearly 76,000 fans. I know we've talked a great deal about uh, O.J. Simpson, but when the entire defense is looking for him all of the time, he's carried 40 times this afternoon for 206 yards, which is a 5.14 per try. Second down and 10 from the 37 for UCLA. Trying to get that ball inbound, hopefully to step out of bounds to stop the clock was Greg Jones. Now we have about 11 seconds left in the ball game. It's going to be a third down and 10 for UCLA. Coming into the secondary is Ron Ayala, the kicker for SC. That crowd moving down the sidelines is moving with O.J. Simpson. Third and ten. And Mike Battle comes up with the interception. Mike Battle, a tremendous defensive player, intercepts another pass, Nader intended for Cooper. So the final score is the University of Southern California, 28. UCLA 16. We'll be back in a moment. Chanel number five is my idea of a woman. Chanel number five.
tells her all the things she is, as no other fragrance can. Give her gifts from the world of Chanel. Chanel Number no. Five Bath Powder. Spray Cologne. Classic Perfume. No wonder every woman alive wants Chanel Number no. Five. Once again, the final score, USC 28, UCLA 16. The executive producer of NCAA football is Rune Arledge. The USC-UCLA game was produced by Chuck Howard and directed by Andy Sedaris. Technical director, John Allen. Thanks to our spotter here in the fog, Bill Friel. And now this is Chris Shankel along with Bud Wilkinson and Keith Jackson saying so long. NCAA college football has been brought to you by... The economy model of the Polaroid color pack camera. For color pictures in a minute, black and white in seconds. And by new super king size, Winston cigarettes. Yes, now an extra long cigarette that tastes good, like only a Winston could. And by Sunoco and your nearby Sunoco dealer. When you stop at Sunoco, you go with confidence. Now stay tuned for college football today. For all the scores and highlights of today's top game. This has been an ABC Television Network sports presentation.